Dowsing is a type of divination used to locate groundwater, buried metals and ores, gemstones, oil, grave sites, and many other objects and materials with the use of divining rods. Traditionally, the most common dowsing rod is a forked branch from a tree or bush. Some dowsers prefer branches from particular trees and freshly cut. Hazel twigs in Europe and witch hazel in the United States are common choices, as well as willow or peach trees. The two ends on the forked side are held one in each hand, with the third stem pointing straight ahead. The dowser then walks slowly over the places where he suspects the target, for example the minerals or water, and the dowsing rod is expected to dip, incline or twitch when a discovery is made. This method is sometimes known as willow witching. Many dowsers today use a pair of simple L-shaped metal rods. One rod is held in each hand, with the short arm of the L held upright and the long arm pointed forward. When something is found, the rods cross over one another. If the object is long and straight, such as a water pipe, the rods may point in opposite directions, showing its orientation. Dowsing is also known as divining, doodlebugging when searching for oil, or water witching when seeking water. In the 1600s, it was called Virgula Divina, meaning rod divine in Latin, and Gluckrut in German, which means luck rod. In 1691, the philosopher John Locke used the term dowsing rod for the old Latin name Virgula Divina. Although dowsing to search for water is considered an ancient practice by some, old texts about searching for water do not mention the use of the divining rod. Dowsing as practiced today may have originated in Germany during the 1500s, when it was used in attempts to find metals. In 1662, dowsing was declared to be superstitious, or rather satanic. In France in the 1600s, it was used in tracking criminals and heretics. Its abuse led to it being forbidden for purposes of justice. Early attempts at an explanation for dowsing were based on the notion that the divining rod was physically affected by emanations from the substances of interest. A study towards the end of the 19th century concluded that the phenomenon was attributed to cryptosthesia, whereby the practitioner made unconscious observations of the terrain and involuntarily influenced the movement of the rod. In 1986, 31 soldiers were hit by an avalanche in Norway. The Norwegian army attempted to locate the buried soldiers using dowsing. In fact, dowsing exercises are part of the avalanche safety course taught to career officers of the Norwegian army, and dowsing rods are part of the army's equipment for avalanche rescue. The soldier who was dowsing said he got between 20 and 30 signals, of which one, or possibly two, pointed to a victim. He attributes the poor result to the presence of water and vegetation under the snow, but is convinced the technique would work under other conditions. In 2017, 10 of the 12 water companies in the UK admitted they are still using the practice of water dousing to locate pipes. Some people believe that L-rods may be used to communicate with the dead. There doesn't seem to be any specific method or rules to this practice. Some say that crossing rods means a ghost is present, however some believers also say subtle movements indicate the presence of unseen energies. They also say that yes and no questions can be answered with movements of the rods. It is believed that pendulums can also be used for this process. With pendulums, common movements for yes are clockwise circles or to and fro movements, and no is often shown as anti-clockwise or side to side movements. When dowsing is subjected to scientific testing, it fails, producing no better results than random chance. This makes dowsing a pseudoscience. Scientifically, it is considered to be no more than the result of unconscious muscular action, known as the idiomotor response. This is when people's subconscious minds may influence their bodies without consciously deciding to take action. This would make the dowsing rod susceptible to the dowser's subconscious knowledge or perception, and also to confirmation bias. Although some dowsers claim success, for example with locating water, this can often be attributed to the underground water table being distributed relatively uniformly in certain areas. In favourable terrain, random chance has a high probability of finding water.